Hello guys and welcome to Learn Tech. Today we are going to do something different. We are going to learn how to do file management in CMD, Command Prompt or MS-DOS. MS-DOS was the first operating system. So before Windows, Mac, Linux, Ubuntu, we had MS-DOS. Everyone used to write codes on the MS-DOS and used to command the computer with programming. So today we are going to learn how to do a file management in CMD. Today we are going to learn how to make a folder, how to go to a specific path, how to see the files in a folder and how to delete a folder or a file. So there will be several videos on the file management on CMD. So stay tuned. Let's go to the first part. So to open CMD in Windows 10, there are several ways. The first way is searching in Cortana. And the second way is the run command where you press Windows plus R and then type CMD. As you see, the Windows CMD is now open. You will see a path. C, Users and then your username. For mine, it is Parik. So, to start, let's know what is a fi file path. So, as you know that everything in your computer is stored in a specific path. For example, you create a new folder using the GUI. Let's name it test. Now, how will you know the path of this folder? You just know that it is located on your desktop. When you turn on your PC, you will see this folder. So, to know the path of this, you right click and click on properties. There, you get the location of this. It is C users, your username, desktop. So, if you go in Windows and type C users, Parik, which will be your own username, and desktop, you will get the folder here. Now, if you create a new folder here, it will be created here also. So, every specific file or folder has a specific path. So today we are going to make folders, delete folders, create subfolders and do many things with the MS-DOS on the desktop folder. So first we will write there CD. This is the first command known as change directory. Now when you start your CMD you are in the user folder or the current user which you are. For example I am using Parik. So Parik is the current user, so I get it in the path. So when you type cd and spacebar, you get to 
change the path in which you are. So for example, when I double click on this PC, I am in the this PC folder. So I am, I get to see all the drivers and folders, the user folders here. So I can say that I am in the this PC folder. So like in CMD, we can say that I am in the Parik folder or I am in the user folder. So to go to the desktop folder, you type CD desktop. So now as you see, the path has changed to C users Parik desktop. So now we can say that I am in the desktop folder. Now to make a directory or a folder. A folder can also be known or told as a directory. So let's start. The command for creating a directory is md. Now md space you give the name of the folder. For example learn tech you have a folder learn tech present on your desktop right now as you see we have created a folder now what if you want to create two folders simultaneously for that you need to put the command md and then learn suppose we have we want to create a folder named learn and a folder named tech so there should be a space between the words learn and tech. So we have the words learn and tech. As you see, now we have three folders one named learn tech, learn and tech. So if you want to create two folders simultaneously, you have a space between the words or the names of the folders. Now let's go to a specific folder for that the command cd now let's go to the folder learn tech now as you see the path has changed to see users per desktop learn tech now let's go to the desktop folder again so for example you came into the learn tech folder and now you want to go to the learn folder so for that you need to go to the desktop folder again if you type cd learn in with the path c users by desktop learn tech it will find the folder learn in the folder learn tech which is not present so which will give you a error so for going back to desktop you want to write cd and dot dot so this specifies this specifies that you want to go one folder back so if you are in the parik folder and you type cd dot dot you will go into the users folder so you hit enter and you are in the c users parik desktop folder now I want to delete the folder learn but I want to keep the folder tech. So for that the command is rmdir which is remove that remove as abbreviated as rm and directory is abbreviated as dir which makes the command rmdir hit space. Now you want to put the name of the folder which is learn. So we type the name of the folder and hit enter. As you see the folder learn is gone. So let's shift it up. It's just you are nothing with the code. Now we want to create a folder inside a folder. So for example you want to create a folder in learn tech and you want to create a folder in tech so let's go 
in the file learn tech for that cd learn tech now we are in the learn tech folder let's create a directory test cd test okay now this was my mistake i wrote cd instead of md so if as you see that there is no folder as test in learn tech so it gives you an error the same thing will happen if you are in the learn tech folder and you type cd desktop to go back it will give you an error so let's create a folder the command is md and you name it test so the folder is created as you see you have a folder test here now i want to delete the folder learn tech so the folder test which is in learn tech will also get deleted so for that you need to get out of the folder learn tech first or it will give you an error so let's go to the folder desktop which is the command for that is cd dot dot so once you are in the desktop folder let's type the code rmdir learn tech now the name of the folder should be very specific if the name is learn tech lnt capital it should be lnt capital otherwise it will give you an error the directory is not empty now you can't delete the directory until and unless it is empty so because we have a folder learn tech and we want to delete the folder learn tech but there is a folder test inside the folder learn tech so first we will need to delete that so let's type cd learn tech and there you will type rm dir test now the folder is deleted let's check it as you see there is no folder in learn tech now let's delete the folder learn tech type cd dot dot and type rm dir learn tech as you see the folder is deleted so for this video it's this much only first let me teach let me let me teach you an um, another command called cls which clears all the all the commands and another one exit which exits cmd so thank you for watching my video and stay tuned for part 2 please subscribe to my channel learn tech go visit my website www.learn-tech.webnote.com the link will be given in the description and share my videos to all your friends and all the people who will be happy seeing my videos please like my videos and once again subscribe to learn tech thank you for watching my videos learn tech signing out